welcome you all. I will request now Arnie to proceed. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, Namaste, Professor Rao Garu, and Namaste, Dr. Teja Garu. Just Teja. And, uh, namaste to all. And this is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate 101st birthday of Professor C.R. Rao Garu, who is a living legend in statistics. And uh, he has showed us, all of us, and many generations of statisticians and probabilists how to live a simple life. And then even, even despite of achieving very highest uh, scientific uh, accomplishments. And Professor Rao is well known across the world. And last year when we organized uh, the centenary celebrations, <laughs> We had also had a very special session, invited session in the JSM Joint Statistical Meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all over the world, I think in India itself, there were about 500 conferences held despite of being in the COVID. Almost all the Department of Statistics in India celebrated Professor C.R. Rao's centenary celebration. And also across the world, I know my friends in Japan, England, Russia, USA, of course, several places in the US also celebrated uh, Professor C.R. Rao's centenary celebration. And today we are meeting especially to, uh, to listen from his former students and former long-time colleagues of Professor Rao to share their feelings on his 101st birthday. So before, uh, before that start, I, I want to show you one single slide to uh, for all, all the participants who are in this in this August room. Let me share my screen. <laughs> so we'll start with Professor SRS Varadhan. Then if Professor KRP joins, Professor KR Parsadi from New Delhi. Oh, <laughs> yes, we'll have his comments also. Today together we'll speak about, they were your first students among the four students, among the four uh, popular students, they are the first two students. And then we'll have Professor uh, Kanti Madia, who is in, uh, currently in Oxford University, and uh, Professor George Andrews, your longtime friend, and uh, number three is in Penn State University. And Professor T.R. Rao, I'm not sure whether he's joining today, but he committed that uh, he will join. And then Professor T.J. Rao also from India, it's already late, they already, although they committed, we are not sure they are going to join. And then Professor M.B. Rao is already there, followed by, and then Professor T. Krishnakumar, who joined from uh, Rockville. And then myself, I will concluding remarks. And then Dr. Teja Rao will provide the concluding, overall concluding remarks. So let us start with uh, Professor S.R.S. Vardhan. Professor Vardhan. <coughs> I am very happy to be here today. To pay my respects to Dr. C. R. Rao. I've known him, or he has known me for nearly, count, nearly 60 years, 62 years. I came to ISI in 1959. And since that time, I've always been in touch on and off with Dr. Rao. I started working in statistics, but then shifted to probability. And uh, I was fortunate those days that ISI provided us with an environment where we could be free and do what we wanted to do, pursue our own interests and not forced by the institution to conform to one area or another. I remember the first year when I came, uh, Dr. Rao was the chairman of the statistics division at the Indian Science Congress. And all of us made a trip to Mumbai. And uh, that was our first exposure to a conference. And, uh, Where are you now? New York. Well, I'm in New York now. New York, yeah. Uh -huh. So he's talking about... Still working, not retired. 
Yeah. And from then, you know, then I met, met with uh, Raghav Rao and Parth Sarthi, and the three of us started working together. And although we our interests were more in probability and not in statistics, uh, Dr. Rao was, was always interested in our work and wanted to know all the time exactly what we were doing and encouraged us to do our own thing. And those are interesting days. Uh, the special things I remember. I remember Dr. Rao celebrating his son's first birthday in Baligans and, and he invited a group of us. We went to Baligans church on a celebration. And I believe Teja danced. Yes. Uh, on that yeah. I think I, I was nine years old at that time. So, so he was always treated us as friends more than students. And, and I think that's important in the relationship with your advisor. And then I remember when I, Varadarajan had come back from US and Patsarthi and Rangarao had left Patsarthi to Moscow and Rangarao to Urbana. And then Varadarajan and I worked for a year together and I wanted to go come to the United States to visit and Varadarajan suggested I go to New York University. So he wrote to a friend of his, Peter Wax. And for a long time, there was no response. And uh, so I went to say Rao and said, I really want to go, but there is no response from New York University. So he was kind enough to write to Wolfowitz at Cornell. And then I got an offer from Cornell to go. But then New York University replied, and they made an offer and I went to Seattle and said, I really want to go to New York. Uh, so it would, uh, would be bad if I turned down the Connell offer. He said, you should go where you want to go. What's good for your science and what's important. So that's how I ended up at New York and never left. And he has always been very encouraging and helpful and maybe in touch over the years on and on. And uh, I hope we lose for many more years and we'll have an opportunity uh, to talk to him, to be with him and see him. And I wish him the very best. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Sir Vardhan, you want to share anything on the cosmograph uh, you working with him, sending to Sarao, your interaction there? He talked about how I think ISI has this tradition of uh, whenever a visiting dignitary comes, a scientific genius, scientific figure, they allow the students to interact with them freely. And so it was a custom that uh, when Kalmagrao came and he wanted to tour various places in India, a group of Research scholars accompanied him everywhere and, and we spent some time with him. And he was also chosen to be examiner for my thesis. And, and, and he said he would take the thesis back to Moscow and have, it, have a look at it. So I, Sierra asked me to give a lecture on my thesis. So I was giving a talk and some of my confusion, I forgot about time. The lecture instead of being ending at one hour, dragged on and I think it was an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes before I finished. People in the audience were restless and they left as soon as the talk ended. And Kalmugara was picked up a chart, piece of chart to make some comments. And before he could say his comments, people started leaving. He got angry, threw the chalk piece on the floor and marched out of the room. <laughs> and my immediate reaction was, there goes my PhD. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so, myself and 
we chased after Kamagarhav and I went and apologized. I said, I talked for too long. And he said, no, in Moscow, the lectures are two hours, so it wasn't long for me. But when Kalmagarov talks, people should listen. And they shouldn't have left without listening to me. And so that was an experience. Thank and you. Is and guest among you? No, no. Arni. Oh, can't you say guest? No, Arni. Arni. <laughs> Arni, yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Professor Vardhan. Nice to meet all of you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Professor Rao. Yeah. Thanks, Professor Vardhan, for sharing. Uh, now, uh, Professor, since Professor Parthasar the just talked about is not the, around, uh, we will go to the next speaker, Dr. Kanti Mardia. And just now I saw a message from Dr. Kanti Madhya saying he is restarting his computer. I think there is some video glitch in his uh, video is not starting. So he is restarting his computer. So maybe we, I can uh, request Professor M.B. Rao, uh, Professor George Andrews. Next, Professor George Andrews, please. Sanana, he's talking now. Oh, Professor George right. Andrews, Penn State University. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. talking now. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Arnie. And it's a great honor to be asked to participate in this Zoom celebration of Professor Rao's 101st birthday. Uh, the first thing to say, as someone who has been on the Penn State faculty since 1964, is that the day in 1988, when Professor Rao joined the Penn State faculty, was an academic high point in my 57 years at Penn State. Sadly, the statistics department had separated from the mathematics department at Penn State in the late 1960s. So <coughs> Professor Rao and I were never in the same department. However, he did serve on PhD committees for some of my students and was the first person to welcome me into the National Academy of Sciences. I think of him as a very kind and thoughtful man my wife remembers a large dinner event where she became ill and was shown great kindness and thoughtfulness by Professor Rao and his wife. To conclude my short remarks, I hope to say something about a mathematical connection with Professor Rao. I guess I can start with the fact that I was present in Bangalore in 2003 when Professor Rao received the Srinivasa Ramanujan Medal from the Indian National Science Academy. And I would note that the majority of my career has been devoted to the study of Ramanujan's mathematics. I'd hope to say something even a little more mathematical, but the closest I could come is to find a tie with R.A. Fisher, Professor Rao's thesis advisor. In the early 1970s, I was editing the collected works of the combinatorialist P.A. McMahon and contacting all who had cited McMahon since his death in the 1930s. Among those was J.H. Bennett, another Fisher student. Clarified his, Bennett clarified his own work and noted that Fisher had indeed used mathematical McMahon's work on Latin squares in an important statistical model in 1934. Indeed, the work Fisher cited was McMahon's precursor to a polyenumeration theory, but that came in the late 1930s. And since Fisher was writing in 1934, what was available was McMahon's work. So this is at least a connection with Professor Rao's academic father, if not directly with Professor Rao. In any event, happy birthday, Professor Rao. We all admire you immensely and hope there are many more to come. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Thank you. George Andrews. Thank you very much. Thank you. In fact, Professor, as we all know that Professor C.R. Rao's, the out major breakthrough came when he was age 25, that the Kramer Rao. But before then, that was his 10th article, 10th or 11th article. But before that, before that article of Kramer Rao inequality, <laughs> Rao published on several articles in number theory. 
Thank you. He also co-authored with, uh, mm -hmm. um, I mean, a very well-known uh, Professor George uh, Andrews knows his name. I right now I could not uh, recollect his name. He is uh, he, along with he was in England, living in England, and uh, he worked. Professor Rao also jointly published uh, several articles on Ramanujan. So work along with him, not with Ramanujan. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I invite uh, Professor M.B. Rao. Uh, you know, Arni Rao, I prepared a document, a word document, which I would like to share. Yeah, please share. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes, please share. Okay. You, can, you have a sharing permission. Yeah, I have a, I'm clicking on share screen. And uh, let me see. Where are you now, M.B.? Are you able to see my document? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, good. So on the shoulders of the giants, a tribute to Professor C.R. Rao on the occasion of his 101st birthday. Mm -hmm. She's an MBA Rao, a collaborator and disciple, currently affiliated to the University of Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Let me fire off with a quotation. Mm -hmm which is invoked an incantation at the start of some workshops on data science and their ilk. I don't know the source of this quotation, but uh, I'm uh, hooked onto it. All knowledge is, in final analysis, history. All sciences are in the abstract mathematics. All judgments are in the rationale statistics <laughs> okay just the three wonderful lines permanently etched in my brain <laughs> okay you know there are three parts of probability theory the strong law of large numbers the law of the iterated logarithm and the central limit theorem i cherish the following as a three gems of statistical inference that arose from the bowels of professor Rao. Kramer-Rao inequality and the Rao blackwellization and score statistic. <clears throat> it's wonderful, very widely practiced. Kramer-Rao inequality has entered into the lexicon of physics. And uh, there is a couple of papers and the books by Bernard Roy Friedan. He was also born on September 10. <laughs> Lexi R. Rao, okay? Okay. And uh, <clears throat> one book is called The Science from Fisher Information, published by Cambridge University Press in 2004. And the Rao Blackwellization is impacting Monte Carlo Markov chain simulations. Mar Markov chain Monte Carlo simulations. It is a recent paper published by Roberts and Roberts in 2021. Okay. One cannot overlook the other contributions of uh, Professor Rao. I'm showing a picture, okay? What is this? Looks like a piece of twisted metal after bombing, okay? This is how one protein in our cells looks like. A 3D folding. A protein technically is a sequence of amino acids. What is an amino acid? It's a triplet of nucleotides. A, G, C, and T. The picture here I'm presenting here is a courtesy of the science magazine. Proteins, what are the proteins? They unlock the secret of our lives. Uh -huh. The protein is spelled out as a specific chain of amino acids on a piece of paper. <laughs> its functionality is still a mystery. Okay? And its relationship to other proteins is an enigma. When it is presented as a three-dimensional structure, it comes alive. Scientists are attempting, scientists are attempting, okay, to model the protein as a protein fold as a Riemannian manifold. If you can do that, we can then talk about the distance between two manifolds. And we can assess how close the two proteins are. The possibilities are endless. 
Does it remind you of something what Professor Sierra Rao did? Yes. Let H be the Hilbert space of all continuous functions, square integrable on the line. Let U be its unit ball with its rich geometry. Let M be a parametric family of a continuous probability density function on the line indexed by several continuous parameters. The square root of any F in the, in the collection of density function is in the unit ball U. So the natural map evolves from M into the unit ball. The image of this map is a manifold. A humdrum family of density functions come alive as a manifold in the unit ball of a Hilbert space with its rich tapestry of a geometry. This is what Professor Rao espoused and Professor Amari nurtured. Okay, This kind of idea is in currency now. Take a skull, 45,000 years old. Extract its DNA, note down some important landmarks on the skull, now create a three-dimensional model of the skull, add flesh to the skull. This is very well perfected now. I know how a Neanderthal looks like. I know how a Denisovan looks like. I share some 3% of my genes with the Neanderthals, <laughs> who became extinct about 50,000 years ago, right? Scientists are becoming ambitious, spread out over a SNP data on a line, nine billions of them. Okay, they recreate the human being behind the data. Oh. That's the ambition. It's <laughs> artificial intelligence. They're trying to do it. Many happy returns of the day, many happy returns of the day, many happy returns of the day. And the day. <laughs> Thank you very much, Professor C.R. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that's all I had to say. Thank you very uh, much. MB, can you send me this? Oh, I can send you, sure. Okay. Sure. Not that I understood most of it, but okay. I'm just finding everything in the records for him. Okay. All right. So I'm uh, closing this one and uh, back to Arnie. Uh, Dr. Krishna Kumar, stop, stop sharing. Yeah, Dr. Krishna Kumar, Dr. Mardia just telephoned me saying that he is waiting in the Zoom waiting room for you to accept it, uh, give you permission. Please, can you permit Dr. Kanti Mardia? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Kumar? Yeah. Kanti Mardia. Yeah. Dr. Krishna Kumar? Uh, I'm extremely sorry. <laughs> the technology. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. <clears throat> yeah, I think yeah, Dr. Uh, Kanti Madhya, next, uh, please proceed with your comments. Yeah, he's going to talk. Okay, well, first of all, uh, very happy 101st birthday to you, Professor Rao. <laughs> of course, uh, like many, I've been a great admirer uh, for years and years. And the first exposure was when I was in my MSc in 1957 uh, mm -hmm. in Bombay University. So we were exposed rightly uh, to your great book, when Advanced. Yeah, he's talking about when he first met you. Mm -hmm. So that book, uh, Advanced Statistical Methods in Biometric Research, still I read. I think it was such a uh, fundamental contribution and has contained so many gems in it. So, so that was the beginning. Uh, and then when we had our MSc examination, there was a one topic was matrix algebra. And I was told by Professor M.C. Chakraborty that um, Professor C.R. Rao set the exam paper and I got the highest mark. So I was so overjoyed. It was uh, such a, uh, in the important uh, life changer, as if we are, uh, because no, knowing that uh, such a great writer, C.R. Rao, such a legend even in that time. Uh, and then I thought, well, I may not never meet him because he's so renowned and so exclusive. Uh, however, in 1973, there was a conference in Calgary 
so, so we, I met him and I was totally surprised uh, that how humble he is. I thought he will be, you know, being legend. He may not talk to me even. <laughs> uh, but then uh, I still remember uh, in the evening, he would be so free that we played some uh, playing cards. I, I think he might recall, uh, you know, with a group of people, uh, I think possibly it was Teen Patti. And of course, he won most of the games. It was, um, I think, uh, you know, probability and statistics, of course, uh, helped him. So, so that is uh, one of the important, uh, uh, in a memory, uh, that how accessible uh, and uh, how simple he is. And it is a great lesson for all of us, uh, those who go higher and higher and then uh, become inaccessible. So that was my first, um, uh, you know, the important meeting with him. Uh, and then I visited uh, several times in 1990s Penn State. So, so then I came to know more of him uh, and uh, he kindly would take me not only to lunch, but with Bhargavi, we will have dinner at his place uh, and Bhargavi will drive. Of course, she knew how to drive car, uh, you know, in, in a, uh, so, so that was a, a great work. And once after lunch, having a nice lunch, which he paid, of course, <laughs> uh, we were walking and then suddenly, you know, I asked him, how are you feeling? So this was in 1990 when he was around 70 and I was a bit younger, not too much, but uh, uh, so then he said, uh, aptly pain here, pain there and pain everywhere. Uh, and I said, it doesn't show up, uh, but that summarizes with uh, aging experience. I think we all go through uh, that particular uh, in inevitable uh, growth, I think, as if we are one can call. So that was, uh, you know, one of the thing I remember. Other thing was we thought we may work jointly on an emerging area of shape analysis. Uh, so, and uh, uh, he floated the idea that we have a joint workshop in Penn State and Leeds University. Uh, however, there was not great uh, Unfortunately, uh, in a report, you know, there were not uh, demand. Uh, so, but in Leeds, we were quite successful with the <coughs> annual statistical research workshop. And someone mentioned Suryavanshi, and in fact, he sent uh, that time Suryavanshi was, uh, he is one of PhD student. She came to Leeds, uh, and I remember remarkable paper they wrote jointly uh, in uh, PNAS uh, in that area, which is uh, highly cited. So, so, so that was uh, another, uh, in a way, uh, in a togetherness or interaction. Uh, so the subsequent, well, I came to know him so well now, uh, and then his birthday, you know, great celebration, 80th. And what a lavish dinner. <laughs> I still remember he had so many followers. You know, the room was full of uh, all the great admirers, his students, his collaborators, uh, uh, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, there is, of course, a big picture you, some of you would have seen, which was taken there. Uh, and fortunately, I and my wife were standing beside him. So, so that is another a memorable uh, occasion uh, for me. Uh, it continued and I kept on following him as much as I could. Uh, and 90th birthday in India, uh, so we were in Hyderabad, uh, you know, one of the great celebration. Uh, and, uh, you know, we used to walk and we could see Professor C.R. Road. You know, I've not seen of any other professor. <laughs> <laughs> a road named after him, and uh, so, 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 so that was a uh, you know great tribute. I think that's what he deserved, 
uh, and uh, it, uh, India uh, definitely was ahead of time and uh, made this great gesture. And subsequently, then uh, what he deserved very much, uh, RSS gold medal, where I saw Teja actually and his family. Uh, we were all in London uh, when the presentation for the guy gold medal took place. Uh, in, I think it was 1992. So that was a, another landmark. Uh, you know, he had many landmarks. Uh, and I was great. It was great that I could be there in person, uh, see his uh, family, uh, you know, see his you know, great uh, affection around him, such a warmth uh, everywhere uh, flowing. Uh, and so, so this, this is a, um, uh, I think it was 2011. Uh, uh, it was when he got this medal. Um, so it is a great, I think, uh, Royal Statistical Society, not to be quoted, but perhaps it could have come a bit earlier. <laughs> uh, you know, it, everything takes time, I think. It's, it's, uh, and this took a bit longer than what I anticipated, what it deserved for a long, long time. Uh, uh, so not only he has been my role model, but the one thing which he did kindly, uh, which most of you won't know, uh, I write about uh, Jain thinking. I wouldn't call it Jainism, but Jain thinking. So I wrote book, I don't know whether you could see the scientific, is it, uh, no. A bit close to the camera, please. Yeah, it is the scientific yeah, function there. of Jainism. Yes, uh, I wrote book this in 1990, and I asked Professor Rao uh, because knowing that he has uh, been a, a pioneer in the uh, in truth and science, and he kindly uh, wrote a review. He must have spent a lot of time, and I will just read one of one sentence uh, as a final one, and the book will be of great value to James as well as non-Jains in understanding the emergence of a great religion to help us in seeking truth. Truth, I think that's the important word and understanding our existence, our existence and the purpose of life. And the way he has been leading his life, I think the truth and the purpose are all there. So, Juk Juk Jio, Professor Rao. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dr. Madhya, for such a okay. wonderful tribute, wonderful <laughs> recollections of your recent, your uh, long term association with Professor Rao. Next, I invite uh, Professor T. Krishna Kumar, who is the organizer of the session. We took a lot of pain to you know contact everyone to uh, with uh, all the ends, and I want to. I want to request next Professor Krishna Kumar for his comments. Thank you, Arni. Professor Rao Garu, wish you a happy 101st birthday. Your video is off. Uh, your video is off. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, it is on. Can you hear? Camera. We can hear your video. Video is video, yeah. video. Okay, okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Namaskaram, Dr. Rao Garu. Uh, wish you a happy 101st birthday. And uh, I just want to tell all of you a little story. You don't know about Professor Rao's contributions to econometrics, possibly. So once he saw me in the corridor and asked me, why are you still here in ISI? Uh, we expect you to go to USA to do PhD in econometrics. Then I told him I have two letters of reference. I need one more from an econometrician. He said he would write it. I said, Professor Rao Garu, you are a great statistician, but are you an econometrician? <laughs> he said, go to, go to library and see 1947 Econometrica. I went and saw a beautiful paper by him as an answer to a question raised by Professor Ragnar Frisch, who was the founder of econometrics and founding, journal, founding editor of journal Econometrica. That question was answered, and that is the beginning of Professor Rao's work and his uh, <clears throat> whole work of a school on characterization theorems. 
And uh, that theorem really uh, is fundamental to the justification of econometric models. And uh, recently, Professor Rao Garu, as a celebration of uh, your birth centenary, Professor BLS Prakash Rao and I wrote a paper uh, recalling your contribution and how it is a fundamental contribution in econometrics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Kumar, uh, thank you. You want to share any of your association with uh, Professor Mahalana Bees and Professor Rao's association in the, at ISI? Uh -huh. uh, any uh, one line, two liners uh, when you are there at Institute? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was there, uh, we, we rarely used to see Professor Mahalanabis, but uh, there were a couple of occasions when I met him. And once was uh, there was a convocation and we all wanted to have a, a holiday after convocation because we worked as volunteers. And uh, Professor yeah. Rao would not agree to give a holiday. Yeah. Then when Mahalanabis walked into Rao's office, we asked uh, Professor Mahalanabis to uh, give us a holiday. Then uh, he said, no, 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 whatever Professor Rao says uh, is a final word. And uh, uh, that, that's all he said and uh, he left. And then uh, we came to Dr. Rao Garu again. And then he said, yes, yes, there will be a holiday tomorrow. Uh, that is one occasion I met Professor Malanovis in Dr. Rao's office. And another interesting thing to notice was that when Malanovis came, um, Dr. Rao sat in the chairs which we normally sit in when we enter his office. And Malanovis was sitting in Dr. Rao's chair. And uh, then, uh, uh, so other, other people, he had some student representatives also to walk in. So we were also there and Dr. Rao was sitting in the chair and uh, we were standing behind him. Uh, another occasion was I casually mentioned to my father when he was visiting um, that uh, our director is a Mahalanabis. Then he said he knew one Mahalanabis who was a physicist. Then my fa father asked, and I said he is the same person. Then my father asked me to introduce me to Mahalanabis. So they met for a couple of hours. And then uh, Prof Professor Mahalanabis and uh, Dr. Rao, both of them together offered me a research scholarship to stay on after my two year training. And I worked in the planning unit for one year. And uh, that is when Dr. Rao asked me to go to USA. And uh, I owe my career in econometrics to Dr. Rao. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Kumar. Uh, thanks a lot for your wonderful, uh, all of you for wonderful uh, uh, sharing of your wonderful experiences. And myself, Arni Rao, currently I'm a professor in the laboratory for theory and mathematical modeling at Medical College of Georgia. I met Professor Rao when, for, for the first time when he was almost 86, 87 year old and he was visiting Indian Statistical Institute and I was an assistant professor there. And uh, I saw that when he, whenever he, then after that, uh, that was the first visit, uh, first time I met him. Later when he was 90 year, 90 years, uh, 90 year uh, birthday celebrations were, ha were held in ISA Kolkata. I was uh, one of the conveners uh, and we all went on a boat trip uh, as all the organizers and the students where Professor Rao and Dr. Teja Rao, they all both came, both visited at that time, and Dr. Mrs. Bhargavi Rao also was there. And then recently, we were, me and Professor Rao were together, published about seven volumes of Handbook of Statistics, and a few more also we signed. And I see that he is very, very humble person, he is very honest, and he commits to whatever he promises. And uh, he's amazingly simple, simple person. And then my teacher who taught me number theory and who trained me for a math Olympiads, he was six years junior to Professor Rao in the Vishakapatnam. And my teacher himself was a great number theorist. He's, he's worked on with worked on the Shimura conjectures and odd perfect numbers. My teacher's yeah. name was Peri Sastri. And he used to tell stories about Professor C.R. Rao Garu because they were six years 
age difference and my teacher used to get uh, you know from his dad he used to know about professor c r rao in visakhapatnam and how is famous uh, the kramer rao results all that i have no idea what they were unless my teacher told me then i went to isa kolkata i came to know all his results and uh, then the various professors the immense respect that the hostels be it a staff everywhere at isa kolkata i see that they have a great respect for professor rao whenever he used to visit he was a hero welcome hero worship there at isa kolkata whenever he used to give a talk at 90th birthday also professor rao stood on the stage to give a lecture i see that there are non academicians those who are clerical staff or scientific staff stenographers everyone used to attend his talk they may not understand they may not they may understand they may not understand along with students faculty they all everyone used to the the auditorium used to be full even at the age of 90 years professor rao used to give talks so all this you know i learned a lot from you sir and i treat homi baba sir c v raman and c r rao these three people especially built the post independence scientific culture in india around independence they started so homi baba also very you know they are not only they done a fundamental work homi baba c v raman and c r rao these three people provided leadership scientific leadership that is needed because of their personalities and as professor krishna kumar mentioned professor malanavis worked hard to bring the sankhya and then professor c r rao contributed a lot to develop the the journal sankhya to make it a world famous so i want to once i want to once again wish you professor rao on his 101st birthday <coughs> we all meet again on his 102nd birthday next year and now i want to request dr teja rao for her comments dr teja rao no, her, his daughter to, um, thank you all very much for taking the time and um, thank time, you thank yeah. you <laughs> and it's good for dad to see everyone and i get excited when he recognizes everyone and um, it, it's nice thank you for taking the trouble it always touches me to see your face not visible dr teja rao <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just saying that um, it means so much to me to see the love and affection you have for dad. So thank you all very much. It's not easy to take the time off in the day these days and it means a lot to me and it means a lot to him. Thank you very much. And what's nice is he listens so intently and I'm not, you know, you can't hear everything, but his attention even today is just amazing. and i have to tell you he still has a sense of humor really surprises right. me each day he comes up with something and i'm like i know his brain is working so. <laughs> <laughs> yes indeed yeah. and he types his emails all these are you know great he is inspiring all of us yeah i think nowadays it's become difficult he's not able to answer so from time to time i sit with him and try to get back so but he's doing well i mean he still reads the newspaper top to bottom cuts out articles even now underlines articles that i should be reading so he's doing okay and thanks thank to for thank thank you, very, very, thank you for taking care of professor rao garu at home <laughs> yeah, dr krishna kumar you want to concluding remarks and uh, close the session yeah krishna garu thank you so much you take so much trouble each time in bringing people together it's very nice with you Me too. Thank, thank you, Teja. It has been a pleasure meeting Dr. Rao Garu frequently. <laughs>